In this tutorial, you'll learn how to get rid of a three-headed dragon. Hey, today's story is from Shahnameh, the Epic of Kings, written by the Iranian poet Ferdowsi in the 11th century. In this video, you'll learn about Zahak, a prince in Syria that his name is the Arabic version of Ajdahak or Ejdaha that means dragon in Persian. So if you're ready for some devil kisses, eating human brains, cutting people in half and stuff, let's dig in. But before that, the common question. Is Shahnameh real? Well, the short answer is no. Obviously, it starts from history and ends up mixing with a lot of myths. But the thing about myths is that they're not about reality. They're about truth. The desires and beliefs that remain in people's subconscious through time. The myths of every nation are mirrors to show not their history, but the essence of their history that has been internalized and reflected in a symbolic language. If we break through the shell, we see the patterns that repeat over and over through history. So once upon a time, Iran was ruled by the righteous Jamshid, whom people loved. His father had taught people blacksmithing and Jamshid taught them how to make metal tools for war. He introduced them to weaving various fabrics, architecture, new perfumes and scents, and even founded Nuru celebrations. But after 300 years, his pride grew with his power and he began to forget that all his blessings were due to God. He boasted to people and wanted divine honors, as if he were the creator. At the same time, somewhere around Syria, there was this young prince called Zahak. His father was a good king and a good person, but he was not. One day, the devil, who had seen the potential, went to him in a well-groomed appearance and started praising him to win his trust. He succeeded easily. He deceived Zahak to kill his father and become the king. It was a frightening idea for the young boy at first, but he finally did it. Was this enough for the devil? No. This time, he disguised himself as a great chef and found his way into the castle. He cooked for Zahok for four days. The first day, he made a food with egg yolk. Then the second day, partridge meat. Then chicken and lamb roast. And on the fourth day, beef thigh meat. So if you're thinking of becoming a vegan, I think you can go through these steps in reverse. Zahok was thrilled. I am the king and I eat a lot of fantastic food. So... Dear chef, ask me something, I'll give you anything, because I'm the king. The chef smiled. My dear king, I know I don't deserve it, but may I kiss your shoulders? Oh, sweet, of course you can. I am the king and I have snakes on my shoulders. It's it's not fun anymore. He tried to cut the snakes, but to The doctors tried everything, but nope. The snakes liked their new home. But what was the devil doing? Yeah, he was changing clothes. Suddenly, a new doctor appeared out of the blue and prescribed, don't worry, the snakes won't harm you if they're fed enough. Feed them with human brains, otherwise they'll eat yours. Now with those snakes, we have something like a three-headed dragon, which in Avesta, the Zoroastrian holy book, is a famous evil creature. So yeah, way to go devil. While Zahak struggling, let's return to Iran, where the dignity, the glory, gradually flow away from Jamshid. As on pas baramad ze Iran khurush, padi damad az har sui jang o jush. Jamshid repented in his heart, but his glory never returned to him. He didn't respect people enough, and now they just didn't want him anymore. Savaran Iran hame shah juj, nahadand yek sar be Zahak rud. Be shahi baru afarin khamdand, vera shah Iran zamin khamdand. Jamshid ran away and no one knew where he was for a hundred years. But Zahak finally found him in China, trapped him and cut him in half. And returned to Iran. Yes, Iranians made Zahak the king. After 700 years, Iran descended from the heights of civilization back into a dark age. Hunar khar shud jadui ajmand, nahan rasti ashikara yazand. دو پاکیزه از خانه جم نشید برون آوریدند لرزان چوبید. Killing Jamshid wasn't enough. They also captivated his daughters, Arnavaz and Shahnaz. Zahak kept them in his palace. به پروردشان از ره جادویی 
بیاموخت چون کشی و بدخویی ندانست خود جز بداموختن جز از کشتن و غارت و سوختن زهاک was a naive boy anymore he wasn't even a human now he ruled for a thousand years with only hypocrisy and utter savagery each night two young would be killed and their brains would become food for the snakes to alleviate the pain in Zahab's head. The sun refused to shine and the whole land was dark, cold, and bleak. In the middle of this, two young men made their way into the castle as chefs. They wanted to do something, so every day the new chefs would kill a sheep and mix his brain with a human brain, so that at least in a month, 30 people were saved from Zahab's brutality. The survivors were given sheep and goats and they were sent to the plains to start a new life. And Ferdowsi says that these people, these survivors, started the Kurdish race. So, it was 40 years left of Zahab's kingdom when one night sleeping with Arnavas, he had a strange dream. Chonandid, kas kaakh shahan shahan, se jangi padid amadi nagahan. The younger one of the three warriors jumped and hit Zahak on the head with his mace, tied him with leather straps and dragged him towards Damovanna. Zahak woke up horrified. Bepichid Zahak bidad gar, bedar ridash az hol gofti jigar, yeki bang barzad be khabandarun, ke larzan shodan khane sad satun. When he told Arnavas his dream, she asked him not to worry. To dari jahan zir angushtari, دد و مردم و مرغ و دیب و پری ز هر کشوری گرد کن مهتران ز اختر شناسان و افسونگران So what? You mean it doesn't mean anything and I shouldn't worry? No, I mean if you're worried that no one can interpret your dream there are plenty of people who can do that Don't worry about that When the interpreters heard the dream they couldn't say anything لب موبدان خشک و رخصار تر زبان پرز گفتار با یک دگر can we tell him? After three days, Zahak got mad and threatened them. Finally, one of them started to talk, beginning with the fact that nothing lasts forever. Jahandar پیش از تو بسیار بود که تخت مهی را سزاوار بود. اگر باری آهنینی به پای سپهرت به ساید نمانی به جای. Okay, guys, I'll tell him very gently and he won't feel a thing. A man named Fereydun will overthrow you. He's not born yet, but he will be. What do you think Zahak said? He said, why? <laughs> why? What have I done? Oh, you'll kill his father and the cow that is going to raise him. So, چو بشنید زهاک بکشاد گوش ز تختن در افتاد و زو رفت پوش. Naturally, he ordered Fereydun to be found and killed. But everyone knew nothing would be the same anymore. نه آرام بودش نه خواب و نه خرد شده روز روشن برو لاجبه. Now, cut, let's hear of Fereydun. Jahan ra cho baran be bayestegi, ravan ra cho danish be shayestegi. His father was an honorable man named Opti. But when he was hunted by Zahak's snakes, his mother, Faranak, took him to a meadow where she knew a cow. She asked the cow's owner to raise her kid with the cow's milk. Keep him safe. He's going to be a very important person. After three years, Fereydun's place was found. They killed the cow, set the whole place on fire, and... Oops, Fereydun was on there. A while before this, Faranak had a vision that Zahok would find the place. So she took the baby to the top of the Alborz fountain and entrusted him to a monk. Faranak bedu goft, ke paak din, manam sug bari ze iran zamin, tora bud bayad negahban u, pedarvar larzande bar jane u. When Fereydun became 16, he found his mother and asked about their family. Knowing how his father had been killed, he decided to go for Zahok. But his mother said, You're just a young boy and he's the king of the kings. What can you do, darling? So it's not the time yet. What do you think he's doing right now? In his last attempt, he gathered some celebrities and politicians and said things like, All the world is jealous of my big... Kingdom. So naturally, there is a big enemy to me. But now that it's big, it's a small big enemy. But it's big, because we are big. So anyway, the country is in danger. Do you want more? No? Okay, here's the solution to sign this. 
که جز تخم نیکی سپه بود نکنشت. Yeah, he actually wanted people to swear that he was the best king ever. بران محضر اجده ها ناگذیر گواهی نوشتند برنا و پیر. They were all testifying out of fear until they heard a sound. همون گه یکا یک زدرگاه شاه بر آمد خروشیدن دادخواه. ستم دیده را پیش او خواندند بر نامدارانش بنشاندند. Well, 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 Zahak said. Who has harmed you, dear filthy human being that I respect so much? خروشید و زد دست بر سرز شاه که شاه ها منم کاوه داد خواه. یکی بیزیان مرد آهنگرم ز شاه ها همی بر سرم. If you're the king, tell me what does this mean? که گر هفت کشور به شاهی تو راست چرا رنج و سختی همه بهر ماست؟ He said that Zahak has taken his son to be killed. And Zahak let the son go. Oh my god, this is amazing. I just saved your son's life, everyone. Cry, please. And let him testify too. No! Kaba was surprised at everyone. Khurushid, kipai mardan div, burid dil az tars geyhan khadiv. Hame suy duzakh nahadi druy, sepordi dil ha be goftar uy. I will not testify. said Kabe, the blacksmith. خروشید و برجست لرزان زجای به درید و بسپرد محضر به پای. He left. Everyone was shocked. How did Zahak let him be so rude? Thanks for coming with me so far. I'm Sarah, a daughter of Iran, and I'll tell you the rest of the story in the next video.